Thank you. I want these home cooks to feel completely outside of their comfort zone, like I have the entire time. Tatea, I get May's basket. It has shrimp in it. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm allergic. I've never shelled one. I haven't even touched one. I'm giving Barry Taya's basket. I think he wants to make a sauce, and there really isn't anything in her basket to make a sauce. The first thing I see is halibut and corn. Whatever Taya was thinking with this, I can't figure it out. I'm not happy about it. Give you this weird, super loaded basket. Barry's got beef broth, pork chorizo, and some seafood. I know that I can work with this. This is your new basket. Trevor has Parmesan, flour, eggs, tomatoes, and garlic. He has four out of the five ingredients I chose, so I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. I'm deciding to keep my basket because this is my advantage, and I want to work with some ingredients that I actually know. Barry, Barry, Chef. Barry, you look irritated. Did Miranda, you know, poke at the bear? Just tell me. A little bit. How are you going to use that to your advantage? I'm going to just channel a little bit of being pissed off and focus on what do I need to do with a rather sparse basket. OK, so what are you doing? Today, I am making pan-roasted halibut served on corn pudding and a corn salsa. Good luck. Thank you, chef. Let's see what we can do with these. They're so nasty. I know that I have to clean and devein the shrimp, but I'm not exactly sure where the vein is. Is this the thing I have to devein? Giving Taya the shellfish was an honest mistake. I didn't mean to play on Taya's allergy, and I feel a little bad. Is there two lines on top and bottom? So I decide to show Taya how to devein a shrimp. The main vein is it's, in the back. And it, you just cut it? Yeah, it's out. It's out. OK, thank you. Today, I got to keep it simple, but elevated at the same time. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Chef. Tell me, how do you feel about not being able to keep your own basket of ingredients? Oh, it's devastating. I had a really, really cool idea planned. More importantly, which path are you on right now, and what are you making? I'm going to do sautéed prawns, and I'm going to do sort of a succotash with the corn. I'm rendering down all the fat out of that chorizo, and I'm going to use that as sort of my sauce for the plate. You know what I think? I think you got lucky. I think so, too, Chef. This sounds like a very delicious basket, Barry. It was. Wow. It was. You had the right attitude, Trevor. And that's what I think will push you to the edge here. Thank you very much, Chef. Hi, May. Hi, Chef Alvin. How are you doing? I'm good. How do you feel? I'm feeling OK. There's no such thing as bad ingredients. So if you can't make those ingredients shine, then it's on you. OK, that's the right attitude. Now, let me ask you. What are you going to do? I'm going to be making an egg yolk ravioli. And I also confit some tomatoes with some Parmesan cheese and crispy garlic. That sounds like a lot. OK, <laughs> are you sure you can do that in 45 minutes? That's all my mind, but I'm going to give it my all. I'm making an egg yolk ravioli. like a nest for the egg yolk, and then a shrimp garlic sauce. I have never made any of this stuff, so my goal is to wow the judges with my creativity. 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes left. We won amazing dishes from five ingredients. May is making egg yolk ravioli. OK, very similar dishes. Taya, now, May only has tomatoes. Well, Taya, you know, she has protein. She has shrimps as well. And don't forget, May can taste her dish. Taya, on the other hand, is allergic to shrimp. She won't be able to taste it. I don't know if that's going to stay. Trevor, please bring up your plate. This is a corn and bell pepper succotash, a beef reduction, and some chorizo sauteed prawns. Now, visually, there's something missing on this plate, OK? And I bet you don't know what that is. No, I don't, Chef. I see two shrimp, but I only see one head. When you plate, it has to be logical and symmetric sometimes. So let me get all these flavors in there. Wow. I like it. You have that succulent shrimp. You have that sweetness in the corn, the texture in the pepper, and then that beef stock sauce, which you reduce, pull everything together. That is a very, very nice dish. OK? Well done, brother. Miranda, please bring up your dish. 
I made a lime and pepper grilled flank steak with a red pepper sauce over top of a grilled corn salad. You know, you had less of a disadvantage. You got to keep your ingredients. Every time I've had to cook in this kitchen, I've been the one that's been out of my element. Have you ever worked with flank steak before? A couple times. What color were you going for? A medium rare. What do you think you achieved? I think I achieved a rare. Closer to blue. There's another problem here. You cut the flank steak with the grain. I thought I cut it against the grain. I saw it running this way. You cut with the grain. This is one of the biggest mistakes I've made in this kitchen. I'm in trouble. It does take effort. This is tough. On the other hand, the corn's actually Quite delicious, nice pop. What happened to you in this challenge? I thought I was doing good, Chef, and I honestly thought I cut it against the grain. You've come so far, you've done amazing things, but this meat is a mistake. You cut it incorrectly, you undercooked it. I hope you'll have a chance to recover from something like this. egg yolk ravioli, and I also confit some tomatoes, and then I topped it off with some Parmesan cheese and crispy garlic. Visually looking at it, it looks a little bit childish in terms of plating, you know, just something that you see at children's parties. So the moment of truth, so I'm gonna slice into that ravioli. What am I gonna see? Uh, you should see a runny egg yolk, I'm really hoping. Well, look at that. You know that it's oozing out, and this is perfect, perfectly cooked. Wow, that's just perfect. It's got very nice texture. Beautiful use of five ingredients. You did a really good job. Thank you. Barry, please bring up your dish for tasting. I came up with a pan-roasted halibut with a red onion, jalapeno, and lime jam, corn jalapeno pudding, and a roasted corn salsa. How do you feel you did with those ingredients? 10 out of 10. That's pretty confident. Yes, chef. Hmm. It forced me to do something I had never done before and techniques I've never used before. Let's have a taste. I think your corn salsa here is light, crisp, has that lime to it, fresh, big flavors. Halibut, I think, is cooked very, very well. The corn sauce, for me, could do with a little bit more seasoning. You just need to bring that sweetness out. Sure. Overall, I think it's a pretty good dish, and it's really great to see you being forced to use something different. Thank you, Chef. The anger that fueled me through this cook woke up a part of my brain, and I'm gonna make sure to keep it awake. Taya, please bring up your dish. I am worried about my entire dish. I just don't know what it's gonna taste like. But I need to show the judges that I'm not giving up yet. This is an egg yolk ravioli with mascarpone filling and garlic shrimp. All right, let's see how you did with the pasta here. What's your intention? To have a runny yolk. Nailed it. Yes, that's good news that's, for me. That's beautiful. Great flavor. The texture of the pasta has a bit on the thick side. I did the lowest that the machine went twice. So did May. Yeah. Hers was thinner. There's another problem here. I see it, and I didn't get the 
thingy out of it. Why did you devein two out of the three shrimp? I must have put one of the shrimp that I wasn't supposed to cook in the pan. Details, right? Details. Please go back to your station. This challenge forced all of you to think on your feet. There were two standout dishes, but one home cook particularly impressed us, and that home cook was... Barry. If this win doesn't prove that I belong here, I don't know what will. Congratulations! But Trevor, you were not far behind. Well done.